Dark Spectre Design Works. We make it. Howdy, folks. Uh, today we're going to be taking a look at the Star Wars Black Series PulseCon exclusive Cantina Showdown. Yeah, I was kind of excited when they announced this, mainly because of the new characters with uh, old Pundababa and Mr. Avazan. But when they showed more pictures and revealed more info on it and the price, I was kind of... I don't know, put off a bit, just 105 bucks is kind of a lot for three figures and part of a cantina <laughs> display. It goes for that uh, retro aesthetic of the old 90s Power of the Force line. I actually had this set. Um, I still may have it buried somewhere, but uh, really not worth digging out. But yeah, a little bit of buyer's remorse, but I'm kind of glad I did because it sold out really quick, and I know that if I didn't get it, then... I'd be all saddened and depressed and shit that I didn't grab it, because uh, I think Pundababa's been announced that he's going to be a standard release, or at least heavily rumored. Um, but nothing about Dr. Evazan. And getting an Obi-Wan with the face print will compare it with the old one. I don't really think it's worth it, but we'll see. But yeah, let's take a, look, a little closer look at the packaging. Sorry, this is kind of a big box here. Kind of hard to keep in frame, but I'll do my best. I am not a mint and package collector, as if you've seen any of my other videos, you know. I usually destroy the packages. But uh, if I had a lot of funds and room and all that, I would possibly get two and keep one in the package and open the other one. But uh, that's not an option, so... Little bio. I'm gonna pause it and read it. That's a little rusty. Yeah, it's got this uh, foil holographic kind of packaging, and it's like a freaking dust magnet. So, if you are gonna keep it in the package, keep that in mind, because. This has been out of the shipping container for, I don't know, three days, four days maybe. He got it Monday and today's Friday, so. Yeah, let's, uh, let's crack it open. Um, and see what we've got here. Probably will be keeping this box, but I'm just not keeping them permanently. This way it's bum bum bum. Not very exciting because that's just the bottom. But... Okay, so it looks like we've got some accessories on the side here. keep this intact if possible oh and I think the um, standard Pundababa is not going to come with his little flippers don't quote me on this though but I think that's kind of the thing um, let's see here
So did you guys collect the Power of the Force collection from the 90s? That was my first foray into Star Wars. At least figure-wise. That was pretty much where my collecting hobby started. Um, I had, obviously, a bunch of other toys before that. Um, but I didn't really collect them. You know, there were certain characters that I wanted, and once I had them, I was kind of happy enough, but Power of the Force, up to a certain point, I had every single thing. I guess I was kind of lucky there that my grandma was nice enough to buy me some Star Wars figures. There was a uh, Target by our house, and I had a, I don't had, I have a single mother, so as she worked in the summer, when I was not in school, um, I would stay with her, and occasionally I would walk over to the nearby Target. And even back then, I remember, like, it was a challenge to try and find some of these characters. But yeah, just a really fun line. You get a lot of criticism because the a lot of the characters that aren't supposed to be are really buff. But which is kind of funny. But like Luke Skywalker's built like Arnold Schwarzenegger. But. Very nostalgic for me, at least. So this is kind of hitting all those, all those notes. It's really in there. I know this might be kind of boring, but it seems like some people like the actual dismantling of the packaging, so I like to keep it in there. Toy Bros video on this, he got it early, and he said that, yeah, you pretty much have to destroy the packaging to get it out, so. Okay. I don't think I've ever seen any little tab things like this in figure packaging before. have twisties. Uh, IG-88 heads. One other amazing thing about Star Wars. They used a bunch of random crap for props and characters and such. But it somehow works. More of them? Jesus. Also, let me know if uh, you would like to see a diorama made with this. I think it's kind of obvious that not only do I want to do that, but people would want to see that. But um, like I said it only comes with half the bar, though, so... Jesus. Okay. Okay. 
Alrighty. Let's see, how does this go now? It doesn't look right. I think maybe you have multiple options here. Let's see. Oopsies. Get some of these ties out of here. And of course I have no recollection of how the hell these things went in, so let's see. Looks like there's multiple holes, so you can kind of do whatever you want with them. Let's see. Let's go in there. No. Maybe in this one. Hmm. I guess that'll work for now. Obviously, you can play around with it, but there is the, the back of the cantina where I assume the uh, drinks are made. And then we've got... This goes back here. And then I'll just let's take these plug in. Chevy, kind of plain, but I guess it'll work. But yeah, we need another one of these to go on this side. Hopefully that will be made. <laughs> Alright, let's take a look at their accessories. Stay. Saber. Nothing new here. Something we've seen multiple times. We got some cups, which is kind of cool. One cup. Two cups. Three cups. Two girls, three cups, maybe. And here's uh, Punda's flipper hoof hands. Little furry butts at the bottom. Okay, so let's take a look at the figures here. We'll talk, start with Dr. Evazan here. Let me move this light. That's a little bit better. Great face sculpt. He's all gross and gnarly looking. Some nice detail. You know, he's wanted on 12 systems. He has the death sentence on 12 systems. Right? Is it 12? I think it's 12. I've only seen A New Hope like 72,000 times. I should know that, but... Nice leathery texture on his vest. 
pouches on the vest, run the uh, belt. Maroonish, purplish pants, some standard boots. Let's take a look at his gun. I believe this is a new mold. I don't think I've seen this before. It's cool. All right, let's take a look at Mr. Walrus Man, Butt Face Pundababa. There's his butt mouth. Nice modeling and some little dot details. Nice fur. Big glossy black eyes. I know one complaint that I had and I've heard from others is that his head's too big. But if you go back and watch it, he does have a very large head. It might still be a little bit big proportionately, but uh, I'm not worried about it. And also I saw that uh, somebody mentioned that this is Yavin Luke's body. I don't have that Luke, so I cannot confirm, but... I guess it works, though, doesn't it? I know there was a lot of recycling in the Star Wars universe, so... Nice hairy hands. So, yeah, I think that's a new blaster as well. I don't think that's reuse. He's holding it in the package, so... He's it's got some... Plastic. <laughs> protecting the gas. And a band. Here. Pretty standard plain uh, pants. Oh yeah, there's a little ribs that looks familiar from from the that Yavin Luke boots. So yeah, obviously the money here is his head and his hands, I guess. Let's pop those little flippers on. I don't know if there's a right and left. Let's see. Oh, there's a little L in there. See, I don't think he was ever seen on screen with these. I, I mean, I could definitely be wrong. I think these were like a behind the scenes type thing or what have you. Kind of wonky. No, I don't really care for them, but I'm sure there's somebody jizzing their pants over these, so that's awesome that they came with it. Okay. Um, let's take a look at Obi-Wan, obviously, next. Take his. I'm going to take his jacket off. It'll help with articulation as well. Much improved paint job on his head. He's got some... He got a little bit of a wash in his hair. Other than that, it is the same exact Obi-Wan from 2014 or 15 or whatever the hell he came out. Let me grab the other one, which I have in the other room, of course. Give me one second. I'll be right back. Star Wars Power of the Force Collection. Darth Vader leads an evil empire towards universal domination. Join the brave rebellion with Luke Skywalker, Han Solo and Chewbacca, and Jedi Obi-Wan Kenobi. Can you stop the empire? Star Wars Power of the Force Collection from... A little bit of a comparison.
I don't know, obviously it's better, but if the only reason you want this set is for a better Obi-Wan, I don't really think the price tag justifies it, because... I mean, even with some basic paint skills, you can easily do that yourself. Um, so yeah, I don't really think it's worth it. But, since I really wanted Punda and Doc, that's it's a nice little bonus. The cloaks are slightly different colors. Um, the new one's a little bit more yellow, but... Cloaks. This is the new one. On the, my right here. Old one. Oops. Virtually the same. I don't know if it's gonna show up on color. The old one's a little bit more faded. More of a faded brown, but that could just be some dust and dirt. <laughs> I've had him for quite some time. And then lightsabers. Old is on the left. Yeah, I don't really see any difference. Blue's maybe a little bit darker on the new one, but nothing noticeable or anything. So yeah, let's uh, let's take a look at how they move. Pretty uh, standard Black Series fare here. Um, all three have double jointed knees, which is uh, whatever. <laughs> um, Punda and Evazan have a little bit better head movement than Obi. Uh, Dr. Evazan and Punda do not have uh, waist swivel, but they do have ab crunch. Um, Dr. Evazan's Evizan is very limited because of his vest. Um, Punda's is obviously a little bit better, but, uh, other than that, yeah, pretty much standard uh, black series, black series fare when it comes to articulation. No, no issues, no real complaints. So yeah, overall pretty cool set. I don't really think it warrants the $105 price tag, but um, barring that, it is a pretty cool set. Um, if you're just interested in Punda Baba, don't bother, because like I said, I'm pretty sure he's getting a, well, I shouldn't even say don't bother because it sold out in like five minutes, but don't try and spend a fortune on the uh, aftermarket for it, because uh, Punda should be coming out in a normal release, minus the flippers. Not sure about Dr. Evazan, and uh, I don't really think the Obi-Wan's worth it if you already have the original, but that's obviously up to you. Uh, the cantina, the bar scene is pretty cool. It's bland. Could use some touching up. But, uh, man, if they don't release the other parts of the bar, at least a quarter circle, if not another straight piece and a quarter circle, uh, it's kind of incomplete as is. Um, I'd like to make a diorama out of this, but... Until we see if we're going to get those other parts, I don't know. I mean, I guess I could fabricate something to, to look pretty damn close, but it's not going to be the same, you know. But, um, yeah, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Do the YouTube slash Patreon thing if you would be so inclined, but uh, no pressure. Have a fan-freaking-tastic day. Bye!